So I'm going to start off with some Sempertex brand balloons. These are 11 inches. I'm going to blow two up at a time, then round them out because you don't want coney shaped balloons. So just release some of the air from the balloons. Then I'm going to tie them. And this time I'm going to double twist the neck around before tying my balloons into dupes. I decided to start double twisting my necks because I like to make my balloon garlands the night before the event. And sometimes I lose air the next morning when I only tie them around one time. So I'm double twisting the neck as you can see and then tying to really seal that air in. So I have my two 11 inch dupes. I'm gonna double twist them together into a cluster. Then I'm gonna add that 18 inch dupe and double twist that in to make a cluster of three dupes or six balloons. Now the colors that I'm using are a matte pastel pink, white, and mirror chrome gold. And again, you wanna double twist these dupes into the cluster so they won't pop out. So this is about a foot and a half, this cluster, just in case you're wondering about, you know, how long you want to make your balloon garland. And the backdrop I'm using is 7.2 feet. So I figured that I needed about nine feet worth of balloon garland to get started with because I want the balloon garland to go kind of over and above the top. So that's about six clusters at one and a half feet. So that's a Sempertex 260Q balloon and I'm just double tying it into like a rubber band. And then I'm going to use that to connect my six clusters. So I'm just going to take that 260Q, wrap it around a couple of balloons, twist it around. Then I'm going to take another cluster and I'm going to wrap it around at least two to three balloons in that new cluster. And you want to make sure that you wrap it around at least two to three balloons in each cluster because you want as many points of connection as possible to get that balloon garland to be nice and tight and the clusters to be nice and fitted against each other. That will decrease the amount of gaps. And it's also advisable to put the 260Q balloons around the 11 inch balloons because they're easier to, you know, it's easier to wrap more balloons around when you're doing the 11 inch balloons as opposed to the 18 inch. So again, I'm making my initial balloon garland base with six clusters. Then I'm going to size it up against the wall. It's not long enough for me. I want it just a little bit longer. So I'm adding an additional cluster. And so those of you who are particular about the amount of balloons used so far, this will be 42 balloons used for the balloon garland base. And this balloon garland will be about 10 and a half to 11 feet. So I got it to the length that I want it. So now it's time to attach. So I'm gonna be using a safety pin in the 260Q and I'm gonna attach it to my fabric covered backdrop. I'm gonna attach it right there on the side and you wanna be careful because this is fabric. You don't wanna snag it. Then I'm going to find the balloon that's closest to the safety pin and wrap that 260Q around it because I don't want to pull too hard at that fabric backdrop. So now I'm going to connect it at three more points on the backdrop. When I get to the top, I'm going to connect it from behind, not in the front because I don't want the balloons to overwhelm the Shiera wall. So now I'm just shaping the balloon garland, getting it to where I want it to be before I start adding in clusters. So I'm using a 260Q balloon again, and I'm adding clusters of four balloons or two dupes to start with, and those are the 11 inch clusters. And what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna connect two clusters together with the 260Q balloon. So one cluster on each side. And then I'm just gonna wrap that 260Q balloon around one of the balloons in the uh, pink cluster and then a, one of the balloons in the gold cluster. And then that's how I'm adding my clusters. So I'm gonna do that again for the white and then again for the pink cluster right there. Now I wanna fill up that bottom right there so it spreads out a little more. So I'm adding in a cluster of three balloons and I'm adding in an 18 inch balloon right there. And then I wanted to add in some more gold balloons and a cluster of 18 inch white balloons kind of beef up that uh, garland. And then I want to add another dupe of gold balloons right there to fill in that gap on the side. So now I wanna add some more balloons at the very top. So that's one 18 inch balloon and two 11 inch balloons. And uh, again, I don't want the balloons to overpower the wall to be too forward facing. So I'm just checking it out. And then what I'm gonna do is just push the balloons up from the back so you can see them more at the very top. Then I decided to add another dupe, uh, 18 inch and a 11 inch balloon to fill that little gap in there between the white and the pink cluster. 
And I'm just twisting it in instead of wasting a 260Q on that. And as you can see, that balloon right there is filling in that gap between the clusters. And now I'm going to add two dupes to that gold and white cluster towards the top. And I'm just connecting them with a 260Q balloon and wrapping it all the way around the gold balloon and around the white balloon. Just to make it look a little bit more full at the top. And then I'm going to add a few more balloons at the bottom. Pink cluster right there. So it can spread out a little bit on the right side. And now I'm going to rearrange my balloons a little bit because the balloon garland is looking a little lumpy. I like my balloons to have like a smooth transition upwards and to not be too lumpy. So now I'm adding my 5 inch decorators. They're in clusters of 4 and they're attached by a 260Q balloon. And I'm just adding them the same way I added most of the other balloons to this garland. Just wrapping them around the balloon in the clusters just so I can fill in gaps. And I also like using this 260Q method because you can really connect your clusters even more. You know, that 260Q is really making those clusters nice and tight and connected together. And don't forget, you can always cut your 260Qs in half and just use a half of a 260Q to connect your clusters as well. So I'm just doing a quick measurement. I got about 14 feet worth of balloons here. So here's the finished product to this balloon garland setup. So this year I've been focusing on being more precise in the way that I make my balloon garlands. That's why I start off my balloon garland bases with three dupes to a cluster now. Beforehand, I never had a specific number for my clusters, which was kind of all over the place. So now that I have a specific number as well as a ratio to my 18 inch versus 11 inch balloons, I think it's going to help me by saving time and materials as well as make it easier for me to show you guys what I'm doing. So I just added another small garland right there on the right hand side. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and subscribe and you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.